Andy, a few days have passed since the opening day defeat versus Shifnal Town. Looking back, what were your thoughts on the game? <laughs> um, listen, I think, um, as we've said to the group over the, over the last last five days, um, the, the, the team that wanted the wanted the result more won on the day, in my opinion. Um, they they desired it more. They were more aggressive in many ways. Um, and I think it, it was a bit of a wake-up call for some of the group into Tier 5. Some of these players have been playing reserve team football and I think they, they played against an incredibly physical um, shift and upside and, and were, were, you know, <laughs> were surprised by some of that. Uh, and I think I think Shifnel fully deserved their victory. You know, 5-1, you know, isn't down to anything else and no excuses can be made from us. And, and we we were we were given a bit of a wake up call, and I think I just said to the group in there just after our footage session that you know it, it, they 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 wanted so much to beat us in every way on Sunday, so that's exactly what Shifnal did, um, and unfortunately when we kind of slipped to, to two one, we we lost that bit of character and and didn't show that fight that that this team should be showing to to get back into the game, and you know after after that it went three four five, and and the last few goals were just were just poor from us, so it, it was a massive learning curve for the group. It was great in many ways, it, you know, it, it's something that some of them are not used to, myself included at times, but it was it was a really good shock to the system for them, something that may have humbled them, because I think that, you know, they thought changes coming in, stuff we're doing off the pitch, you know, new staff, it was just going to be, oh, we'll win the league again, and uh, it was just never going to be like that, and I was, I was never in that mindset. You know, I've never, I've never come out and said we were gonna, gonna absolutely, you know, destroy tier five or win every game. Or that's not gonna happen. And you know, it was good for the group to get that little bit of a right taste of tier five against a really physical Sheffield team. Best team won on the day. We've got to respond and react now. How have the players responded this week in training? Fantastic. Uh, some of the best reaction I've seen in in women's football uh, since I've been in it. Really, you know, and we've had some. Been in teams who've had some really disappointing results, and you know, uh, I think back to a couple of years ago, we lost an opening game, and and the reaction was difficult with the with the group, with this group. We were laughing, we were smiling, we were we were we were in good spirits Tuesday night, and 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 by tonight, we've absolutely clocked what what went wrong on Sunday, and we hope to put it right on um, on the Sunday ahead. Um, now the season has begun. Uh, are there any changes you feel you need to make that perhaps you didn't plan for? Uh, yeah, I think there's always been been changes, John. We we had a we had a really good pre-season. We were defensively sound, playing higher opposition, um, and then Sunday hits hits you like a ton of bricks. And it was because it was a completely different challenge that maybe we hadn't experienced in all of our pre-season games um, in many different ways. And I won't go into too much detail about what that challenge was, but you know a lot of it involved physicality and and um, you know. It, dented us a little bit and, and we've got to react to that we've got to we've got to balance the, the, the team out a little bit I think we saw that on Sunday um, so some of the changes that we, we, we've got to make is is, is, is evident and, we, and we've done that already but with the same personnel um, that we need to but we will look to we will look to strengthen um, over the coming weeks and that goes into my next question how would you say the squad is now shaping up for this season um, was it a successful first summer for you yeah, oh, 100%. Uh, yeah, I've got no concerns about the first the first year build, really. Having to kind of change a few players um, you know, already and, and then bring in players, it, it's been great. Having been able to work with some of the players I've worked with in the past, but um, we're still not complete. We're still missing in a couple of areas and I have to strengthen that and add to the group. But the key bit for me is that they, these are just a really good group. Uh, like I said, you know, Tuesday night they turned up after after losing and feeling it because they they felt it Sunday like we all did, um, and, and we're a bit shell shocked. Turn up Tuesday night laughing and, and enjoying the football again. That shows a really good group, and that's what I've just said to them in there tonight. So we're in a good position. We've had a great summer. Um, I expect I expect improvements at Christmas. Like I always do with my teams, we always strengthen at Christmas. That's a key to key time. So it's not complete, um, but it's in a good position. Um, moving on to this week, Agbua, no yeah. doubt you've visualised this moment for many weeks, if not months. Uh, what are you most excited about? Oh, I mean, the stadium itself is just, it's just excellent. I've been down there a lot this pre-season and then obviously been able to watch Kiddy, 
Kitty play, uh, the men team, uh, and it's just it's just great. It's a great facility. It's a great stadium. Great ground. Big pitch. Um, uh, it'll be exciting for the group to play down there. It's going to be my first experience there. Um, hopefully, we can get a lot of the fans down there, get their first taste of of women's football. And as you know from experience, John, if if we do that, you you, you tend to to grow grow a big crowd. So I'm hoping we can do that. I'm hoping we can get people behind behind the women's team because they need that now, um, and I'm excited for for the occasion. And lastly, Andy, um, you're in this process, you're in this project for the long haul. Do you have any short term and long term aims? Well, listen, like I said, like I've alluded to, it, it was always <laughs> it, it was always going to be a, a long term project. Um, it was never going to be a takeover. We win the league, we win the cup, blah blah blah. It was never going to be that. Um, do we want success? Of course we do. We're drilling that into the players because there's no point being in this position to to, to sit back and sit in mid table. But um, it's going to take time. Um, and when people were commenting, you know, he's he's gone there and that player's gone there and they're going to win. The, I just I knew that wasn't going to happen. You know, your your light towns of the world and your and your your shit knows, they they've been in this league for. A long period of time they've been building, um, building over over years after years, and and you know, like particular have been trying to get out of the league for for a while now. So, um, that they're, they're streets ahead of us in terms of their their progress and, and and their development. So we've got that to catch up on. Um, do I want to take that long? No. Um, so short term, it's it's about establishing ourselves as a as a top end competitive team who are going to be hard to beat. Um, and then we'll see we'll see how the next you know 18 months goes to where we we can be and then hopefully the the overall project aim is to, is to get Kitty Minister to the to the national league because it's where these players deserve to be it's where this club deserves to be